I don't have time to explain why I don't have time to... Well, hello there, fellow mammals. The name's Theodore. Theodore Tusk. And welcome back to another unboxing with Loot Crate. For all you Destiny fans out there, today I'm unboxing Destiny, the Taken King Collector's Edition for the Xbox One. Now I would hand this box over to you mammals, but you see it's already been taken. All right, before we see what goodies await us inside and begin devouring them, don't forget to stick around to the very end because I'm gonna tell you how you can win a free three month subscription to Loot Crate. Now time to unbox this collector's edition. Time? That can't be right. First things first, let's slip you into something more comfortable. Nothing. Come on, let me take you off. It's time to reveal you to the rest of the world. No, don't fall down. That's not a reveal, that's a conceal. Ah, uh, here on the front, we have the Destiny logo. They say if you stare at it long enough, your path will be laid out in front of you. It told me I should become a doctor. On the back, we have the Taken King's logo. Looks pretty cool. I was actually going to design the same logo for myself, but it looks like it's Taken. Oh yes, just keep them coming. Keep coming. Keep them coming. When you open the flap on the side, there's a little wisdom to bestow upon us. It reads, somewhere in the rubble of our former glory lies the key to our survival. Or perhaps it lies within. No matter. It's yours by right. Claim it. For me, that key would be for the lock on the basement in my igloo. It's where grandma keeps all the good fish locked up. First in the box, we have a steel case containing the base game with all the current expansions. The basic premise for the Taken King expansion is you killed the son of a big bear bad guy, and now he wants to kill you. It's only a matter of time before the fathers of all the bad guys you've killed in Destiny band together to take you down though. I think my count's in the tens of thousands. That's a lot of fathers. Next up, we have this very well thought out copy of Treasure Island. It's not a complete copy, but there's enough here to get the idea across. And what's really neat is it's heavily modified with all sorts of notes and illustrations inside it. The texture on the illustrations even give you the illusion of them being taped in there. They really went all out on this. Oh, I could marry you, Bungie. Maybe we should get married. Come on, Bungie, give Theodore a, a, a yes. I do. I do. I'll get all expansions for free from here on out. Deeper inside the book, we come to a portion that's been cut out to hide a strange coin replica. Strange coins are collected through various activities in the game and are used to buy rare exotic weapons. I wonder what kind of exotic weapon a walrus could get with this one strange coin I have here. Oh, maybe the lungs of a seal! Who could find a way to use that as a weapon? Or just eat it. Next in the box, we have a whole bunch of miscellaneous paper to help you start your fire during those cold winters. If you're a fool, I mean. How could you even consider burning such valuable pieces of paper? We have a weapon schematic for a brand new weapon called Sleeper Simulant, which puts the enemy to sleep. Because if they're dead, they're kind of asleep, right? On the back of this schematic, there's also a clue on how to get a secret emblem. It's secret though, so I can't say any more about it. My lips are sealed. Oh. Oh, that has the word seal in it. I don't like it. I'm never using that word again. We also have this small print of what looks to be a rocky surface with Saturn off in the distance. And then there's a letter addressed to you about returning the Treasure Island book to its original owner. Just a bit of lore outside of the game. There are these two cards, a queen and jack of spades, which both actually appear in the game. Not sure what the significance of them is yet, but I'm sure they'll lead to some sweet loot. We also have a sticker with the text Earth on it. Not sure what exactly this is either, but it's going on my grandma's forehead. She's into that kind of thing. It's part of her complexion. It's like a skin product for her. And the last piece of paper, or rather not paper, but cloth maybe, is this badge featuring Tex Mechanica's logo, which is a weapon manufacturer within the game. And then last in the box, we have some DLC. You get three class specific emotes, three armor shaders, and three exotic class items with continuous XP bonuses. Oh, there's also an early access weapons pack but that's so last month. I've already taken too much of your time as is, so let's push onward. Well, thanks for watching, fellow mammals, for a chance at winning this week's free three-month subscription to Loot Crate. Which planet would you like to explore? Would you like to do some more sightseeing on Earth, or would you like to take a look at Saturn, or maybe go on over to Pluto? Hey, no, Pluto's not a planet. It doesn't count. It shouldn't even be allowed to be counted. Oh, but it's a dwarf planet, so it is something that counts. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, what were we talking about? Oh, Destiny, I gotta go play. Yeah, I'm just gonna...
Bye.